Good. Uh, just first and foremost, how excited are you to finally see the guys on the field and, and get started here with spring practice? You know, it's uh, been a blessing in disguise to uh, come out here and watch these young men, uh, you know, operate every morning and get after it in the off-season conditioning program. Coach Paolo's done a great job with uh, these young men, and they have a great work ethic. And then also, just with what you saw on tape, just what is going to be the identity of your side of the ball? You know, the thing that we're going to try to be is a physical defense that plays with a lot of discipline. Uh, we're going to try to play with perfect effort and do all the little things that it takes to win a game and, you know, obviously try to help us win a championship. Uh, we have a lot of core values that coaches instilled in creating our culture around here. And uh, I think our kids have been receptive to it. You know, it's still a work in progress, but we're improving every day. What are some of the things you've had to do over this last month since being hired to know your personnel and those sorts of things and get ready for the real things about to start here with spring ball? You know, the biggest challenge has been me getting to know the players, you know, spending time with them and getting to know our staff and also uh, our defensive staff was acquired before I was uh, obtained the job. But uh, excellent coaches, excellent people, excellent men, and uh, it's just an opportunity to to continue to grow, to be a better teacher, to be a better example to the uh, other coaches that I work with, and most importantly, be an example for our players on what it takes to win a championship. And you know, one thing I shared with our players and with our staff that. Every team in this conference I've beaten before at some point in my career, and I know what it takes to uh, win a conference championship. What are kind of your impressions of the staff that Coach Trailers put together? I think uh, it has a great mixture. I think we have some guys that's great recruiters, some guys that's uh, very knowledgeable, uh, some guys with a lot of Texas history. So we got a combination of everything, and uh, the most important thing is we have the, the right leadership. We're under the same head coach, and uh, – we have his vision and what we want this program to look like and the things we want to get accomplished. I know D-line's your specialty, but to inherit a guy like Rashad Wisdom back there in the defensive backfield, what's he bring to this team? You know, um, I think you win championships on defense with your front, and this program's had a history of having good defensive linemen in a short time. But Rashad Wisdom was the first player that I contacted once I, I accepted the job. Uh, I talked to some of the other players, some other administrators who had been here previously, and I said, who's the leader? Who's the guy, the bell cow of the defense? And they said, it's going to be hard for you to pass up on this wisdom kid. He's really special. He's come from a special family. Uh, his mom, wait till I meet her, his brothers. And I've just heard so much about him and had an opportunity to watch him work this spring. He's a guy that leads by example, and he has a tremendous work ethic. How impressive and rare is that for an underclassman to have those traits already? You know, I think it speaks volume about his high school, uh, his high school program and the coaches, the, the job that they did with him prior to coming to campus. But uh, that's Texas football, that's San Antonio football, and we want to do a better job or make sure that we uh, cover every stone here in this area that we don't let guys with that type of talent get out of the area. And he's a prime example of the quality that you can find here in San Antonio. And then also, just from what you, you saw on tape, is there a certain difference, you think, going from what these players were doing last year to what you're going to install this year? You know, uh, we're going to put some emphasis on different areas, but we'll be multiple. We're going to base out of an odd front of a 3-4 defense, but we'll be even at times. We'll be a little bit of everything. Uh, the thing that we're going to overemphasize is – uh, playing together on the same page with maximum effort, a perfect effort uh, is a better word of saying it. And uh, we're going to play with fundamentals. And I think if you don't beat yourself, you have a chance. And, you know, we just overemphasize being a team player, being unselfish, playing for each other, and uh, being on the same page. I, I feel like we're going to have a chance if we can stay healthy to be a much improved defense. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you, Thank you.